Hello Pisces, this is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing bringing you a reading for the month of June 2019. I did record a five minute, eight second intro in the Gemini video. I am not going to repeat all of that because I'm in a time crunch and wanna get all of your readings done. So I will put a link to the Gemini video in the information box below so that you can go and listen to that intro because there is information about the energies that we are experiencing this month in June because as we move later into the month, it is going to intensify. So there's some details for you about that. Additionally, there's information about the group healing sessions. Four. Okay, so you get four cards. So additionally, there's some information there about the group healing sessions that I will be doing this month. So go on ahead and listen to, again, that first five minutes of the Gemini video. That is for all of you. And we're gonna go ahead and just jump in and get started. Now do keep in mind these readings are for a large number of people. When I pray and prepare, although I ask that all of you receive at least one message, do keep in mind it's for a lot of people. So if you find that messages are not resonating with you, go on ahead and listen to your moon and or your rising sign as you may get some messages from those. And if you want to know what cards we're using, read in the information box below. Okay. So you have your situation, what has been happening in the past, the recent past. So this could be up to the past one to two months. The future outcome, this will be the outcome this month. For some of you, it could go through July. And that is if you take the angel's recommendations. So you have divine love as your situation. Okay. So community, marriage, and poverty. So we're going to move these down for a second so you can see those. Okay, so for those of you that are curious, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. We've got toil and labor, the main male, and thief. So your spouse or partner person that you are in this committed relationship with and for most of you you're actually married they have given money to someone loaned money but I, i'm here with some of you so it's like so say they loaned a family member some money and you're like oh come on you know they are not going to pay it back they don't ever pay anything back no one's ever going to pay the money back why did you do that um and your question, like, why would you give them our hard-earned money? Like, I've worked hard for that money. I feel like you robbed me. You didn't even ask me. You just gave them the money. So you are having some conflicts right now in your marriage, a lot of arguments, and it's over money, finances. And for some of you, you know, you do have a valid point. Your recent past, you have your surrender, your need to always be right. And at the bottom, it does have a couple here. And at the bottom, it says, give others the gift of letting them be right. By yielding, not rigid, this will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. But you are at a state of conflict right now, having some arguments because you are not pleased about finding out about this money. You are not pleased that they gave it to someone loaned it to someone because for a large number of it's like they loaned somebody like they own, loaned a family member a friend someone that is close someone that's in your community and you're in your tight-knit group they have loaned them money given them money and you're like why did you do that now i'm poor i'm gonna have to go without because you gave them our money why did you do that so there's a lot of arguments right now now Looking at your bottoms of your deck. Okay. So you, you are protected. You are financially protected. So what the angels are encouraging you to do is to, and this is the angels' recommendations, then we'll go over your outcome. But this is not to play down because money is important for some of you. They may have loaned a substantial amount of money. Not to play that down. It's a it's, it's big chunk of money for some of you. But 
some of the other signs are, are, are not so well off this month. Pisces, you're in a much better position than them. So this is going to be really easy reading for you this month. Uh, angels are encouraging you, you know, clarity. At the bottom it says, banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. Now she looks real mad. Like she could take that stick and smack somebody with it. She is not pleased. And then you have this knight of wands. Now he's the adventurer. He... He likes excitement and traveling and all these great things. So the angels are encouraging you to have the conversations because clearly have the conversations. Talk to your husband, talk to your wife. Try to understand their perspective. Be flexible. Be flexible. Be, because apparently there is something that motivated them to offer this money to this person so have the conversations with your spouse be flexible be open to what they're sharing be receptive so that you can start to feel their excitement understand where they were coming from and be flexible now when you're having that conversation for some of you you may need to set limits like okay I understand where you're coming from. In the future, you know, so for some of you, maybe they loan somebody 10 grand. So you're like, okay, I understand you're excited because your cousin's starting a new business, but you gave him $10,000. In the future, can we set a cap? If we're going to help a family member out financially, how about we cap ourselves off at three grand? That's the cap. And then if they pay us back, then we can give them, loan them some more but we'll set a cap and that's a conversation that you can have together with each other but they're encouraging you to be flexible be receptive be open now for some of you to be able to have this conversation without the tension it may in fact involve taking a little trip this month maybe just getting away for the weekend and it doesn't even have to be taking a trip but you know maybe you just go away for the day go away go hiking somewhere so that you can have a conversation without the stress and having it start right out as an argument so that he will open up because if you're they're showing me like if you're outside so maybe you suggest so maybe it was your husband that loaned or gave away this big chunk of money you're already arguing there's already a bunch of conflict so even start a conversation is just going to kind of blow up into a big argument straight off the gate well if you suggest hey honey why don't we you know tomorrow saturday let's let's go and go hit these trails i'd, I'd like to go hiking and get some fresh air so why don't we go do that don't make it about having a conversation about money just i want to get outside and enjoy the day with you you want to go hiking with me because what's going to happen is he's going to be open he's going to be excited he's going to be out in the fresh air it also it gives him something to do so he's not thinking about having to have the conversation and dreading it and then that will just open up the two of you to be able to have a pleasant conversation with each other so you can clear, clear the air and put this behind you. So they are encouraging you to do that. And if you can do that, your outcome. So you have these beautiful cards, this two of cups, you have the lovers, and then you have this not so pretty one, the four of chalices, which is the miser card, and then the nine of pentacles. So if you can do that and have this conversation, you two are gonna be back on the same page. You are going to be getting along very well with each other. All that conflict is going to fall away. You're going to be happy again. You see how she's she's touching his shoulder. They're on the same page. They love each other. There, he's snuggling into her. They're snuggling. You will be back to a happy, blissful place with your spouse. You will get back here. You will get out of this state because you see he's the miser. He's like hoarding that money. He's like, mm, it's mine. Don't touch it. That's you know his he is taking possession he is refusing to share with anyone not with family not with friends not with any homeless person on the street he's like mm, no it is all mine back up but then you get this so you go from four pentacles to nine pentacles this is all about harvest, reaping our rewards, reaping our benefits. So if you can go have this conversation with your spouse, A, your love, 
your connection is going to be renewed. You're going to be back in a happy place with each other. And guess what? Surprise, surprise. They are saying there is actually going to be a little bit of a miracle here because you are trying to protect your finances, which is why you're upset. Like, why, why, why do we not have this money now? When in fact, so for those of you that maybe he loaned a family member some money to start a business, you're actually going to make some profit off of that. So maybe that four grand that was invested in the business, bam, you're going to be receiving nine grand when they pay you back. And you are going to receive that. So it is actually going to be financially beneficial for you. So just know that. Now they're saying for some of you, you are not going to see the financial benefits of it until around July. So now for some of you that it was like a long-term business, it may be next July that you receive that. For most of you, however, you will be paid back and you'll be, you'll be receiving financial rewards and, and you're not gonna be missing the money at all because you're protected. So, and those of you that are getting paid back, you are going to get paid back more than double what was, um, loaned, invested. So hopefully that helps Pisces. You've got, it's going to be good. You're going to be back happy place with your love bug this month. So wishing you a lot of love, joy, and blessings.